Hey guys, I'm Nina. And I'm Randa. And today we're doing 15 life hacks to clear acne. If you didn't already know, we had severe cystic acne and we're able to get it under control, so we're pretty much acne experts. Let's get right into the hacks. The first hack that cleared our acne was changing our diet. We made this the first hack because this is honestly the most important. If you are dealing with severe acne, you need to change your diet. No matter what products you use, what you put on your face, or how much effort you put into your skincare, number one is diet. Mm -hmm. If you've been following us for a while, you know we follow a low-fat, plant-based vegan diet, which means we don't have any oils, no added fats like avocado, olives, like even healthy fats like nuts and stuff. It really aggravates, aggravates our acne and causes so much inflammation. Here are some pictures of our skin two years ago. If you're trying to clear your acne, check out some What I Eat in a Days. We'll link them in the description or put them in the corner. As we said, diet is the number one hack to having clear skin, but we have learned a lot of other hacks that also help us keep clear skin. The second hack that we like to do is pumpkin mask. Now this is really simple. It's literally just pureed pumpkin from a can. We keep it in the fridge. We apply it like a normal face mask and it helps get rid of redness. It makes the skin more tight and it's like a nice face mask. Pumpkin is filled with vitamin A, which if you have acne prone skin or even if you don't have acne, it's really healthy for your skin. The third hack is what we use for makeup. It is very important if you have acne prone skin to have absolutely no oils in your skincare and your makeup. Yeah, this has great coverage, especially if you have acne and you still have hyperpigmentation or marks. This helps cover it up. It's vegan and and it works. Also not tested on animals. And just to be clear, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay in Fair Sand. Hack number four is shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Many people when they're dealing with acne and their products that they use on their face, they don't actually think about the products that they're putting on their hair. And when you wash your hair, the products that you're using still go onto your face. And some people actually have acne prone backs or even on the fronts. So if there's oil in your body wash and even in your shampoo and conditioner, it's still going on your skin and your skin is absorbing. It. This brand is something that we started using recently. It's from Whole Foods and it's called Giovanni Eco Chic hair care. It's more on the natural side, but there is still slight amount of chemicals where it still cleans your hair. And we only use this a few times a week. And the body wash that we've been using is Shikai Moisturizing Shower Gel in the scent of coconut. The next act is making sure to wash your hands before you wash your face. A lot of people don't think about what products they're using to wash their hands. And if there's oil in it, you're actually still putting that on your skin. And your fingers like get sweaty and oily and they get all this bacteria on them. So if you're trying to get the inflammation down, you want as little bacteria as possible. So wash your hands before you wash your face. The soap that we've been using is seventh generation, fresh and clean, unscented. It's a hypoallergenic formula. Hack number six is what we use to wash our face. Recently, we just switched to Derma E and this is the purifying gel cleanser oil-free, 100% vegan, and it's on the more natural side, and we think it works great, and it takes off makeup really well. Yeah, there actually has been studies that chemicals and stuff that are in our hair products, and your face products, your soaps, everything that we're using actually affects hormones, so not only is it important for us to get an oil-free brand, it's important for us to get products that don't have a lot of chemicals, because that can mess with your hormones and ultimately give you more acne. The next hack is the ultimate skin spot. You guys know that we've been using this product for a while, and we love it. So it comes with three different brushes, and we like to use this to take off our makeup with the Derma E Face Wash. We tend to be a little bit like rough on our skin, so this helps us not be as rough. It also comes with a silicone brush, which is great if you have acne prone skin. It's more difficult for bacteria to build on a silicone brush. And we like to use the exfoliation brush once, once a week. week. If you're interested in this brush set, we'll leave a link in the description and you can get 70% off. The next tack is Witch Hazel. This is something we like to use after we use the Skin Spa. It's a really nice toner, but it's not super drying. I feel like it just makes my pores tighter and smaller. And we just bought this from a drugstore and it's great because it's natural. The next hack is Moisturizer. It's so important after we use our Witch Hazel that we moisturize our face and we always use moisturizer before we put on makeup. And we do it morning and night and sometimes in the middle of the day. Now, since we're getting into a new season, in fall, it's been a lot more windy, so my skin has been a lot more dry than it usually is. So. And when your skin gets dry, your skin can produce more oil. More, more oil acne. equals more acne, so it's important to moisturize to balance your face. Yeah, and we actually have a prescription moisturizer from the dermatologist, but if you are gonna get a moisturizer and you don't wanna go to the dermatologist, make sure you get an oil-free one. Before we put on moisturizer, we've actually been using Olivera, you know, the thing that you use for sunburns? Well, if you're having a lot of red 
redness and inflammation. Aloe vera helps calm the redness. And you can go to the store and try and buy a natural aloe vera, but we actually have a plant that we got. Literally, you can buy this plant for like $3 at Walmart. You just cut the little tip and open it up and just rub it directly on your face. Like a normal serum and it's great because you're not getting any of those like dyes or those colors. Chemicals. Yeah, just keep it natural. So the next hack is actually an interesting one. It's being gluten free. We kind of debated on whether or not we wanted to talk about this on our channel just because we don't know if it's something that we want to do forever or if it's something that even is gonna work for us. But with that in mind, we were, our parents recently had an expo and we were talking with Dr. Alan Goldhammer and he was talking about how gluten can actually affect hormones. Exactly, affect hormones. So we were like, oh, we don't have terrible acne by any means, but Obviously. We, we still get, you know, maybe a few breakouts. And but I was that's like, like around our period, which means yeah. it's our hormones causing a flare-up. So we thought maybe we would try getting rid of gluten and seeing if it works, but he also mentioned you have to wait two cycles of your period to know if it will work. So that's the thing, I've actually tried, we both have tried gluten-free before. We only did it for like a few weeks and we're like, oh, we saw no changes, but you have to wait like two months to even see if it's gonna make a difference. So we've had one cycle and I definitely felt like it like helped with the breakout that I usually get before my period. I've noticed not eating gluten, there's no breads or cereals, and I've been eating a lot more whole, whole foods. foods. I don't just go for like the gluten-free cereal because I wanna eat whole foods. I found that I've actually been eating even more fiber. More healthy and more fiber, better digestion is, is better skin. Literally, if you're trying to heal the outside, you have to heal the inside first. We're trying to eat less processed. We'll keep you guys updated to see if it really is that much of a difference to get rid of gluten. Make sure you're following us on Instagram Instagram at Nina Nelson at Randa Nelson and at Nina and Randa and we're gonna post there if it's really something worthwhile. The next tack is not touching your phone to your face when you're using it. You're touching this phone all day, dropping it on the ground, getting your dirty gross fingers on there and then if you're putting that right on your face, acne. The next hack is for people with oily skin. If you're out and you find that your face is really oily, you can take a seat cover from the bathroom and it actually works perfectly as an oil blotter. The next hack has to do with cleanliness again and that is cleaning your pillowcases and your sheets at least once a week. Yeah, I need to be reminded of this for sure. And the last hack is not wearing makeup while you're working out. Ladies, I know it's hard. You want to look good when you work out. When you're sweating, your pores are opening up more so the makeup that you have on your face, especially if you've had it on for like hours, is literally just going right into your pores and clogging them. So it's good to give your skin a chance to breathe and wash your face before you work out. But you know what? If you're working out with a cute boy, I say take the acne. <laughs> But that sounds so bad. Whatever. It does. Who cares? People are gonna be like, why are you trying to impress a boy? Like, cause it's human nature? Yeah. So those are all of our hacks. If you guys have any more acne hacks, let us know in the comments what works for you. I know everyone's skin is different, but again, we are the acne experts, so I would say you can trust us. Don't forget to subscribe to us. We post videos every Thursday and Saturday. Believe it or not, we have more hacks. So give it a thumbs up if you wanna see more hacks. And we will see you next video. Bye.